what's up guys learning with rich here so for today's topic we are going to talk about topics about constructing and analyzing geometry in dynamo okay so on our previous videos we have discussed working with data okay so working with data topics such as performing math function what are the data types creating a list of numbers um creating and modifying text strings using data from our excel file and so on and so forth all right so for this one we are going to talk about constructing and analyzing geometry now the first topic that we are going to talk about is creating points okay so this is the most basic of this uh data types that we are going to talk about with that includes curves vectors planes surfaces and solids okay so we will be using these points to construct curves, which in turn will be used to create surfaces and solids. All right. Okay, so let's begin by creating a point. So if I'm going to click here on my search bar, I'm going to type here point. Okay, so as you can see, we have here uh, several tools or nodes that we can use to create points, like for example, by coordinates. So let me just type here at uh, coordinates. Okay, so as you can see, we have two nodes here in the library that in the library that is called point by coordinate. So when we hover our pointer, so as you can see, for this one, it has a two input for x and y. So the other one, it has three inputs for x, y, and z. So for this one, I'm going to use by coordinates x, y, and z. So I'm going to click this one. And then this is now the node. So we have three inputs here. And also, notice that the first time you place your point by coordinates, automatically it creates here a point. Because by default, if you are going to hover your pointer to x input here, there's a default value of 0. Same with your y and z. That's why, as you can see, the moment you place your point by coordinates x, y, z, a node here so there's a point there already okay so now what we are going to do to explore our point by coordinates so let us add here another node that we can use for the three inputs like for example we will be using a slider okay so number slider so i'm going to key in here slider and then i'm going to use this one number slider so let's click this one Okay, where is that number slider? It's a slider. Oh, okay, just click. All right, so there's my number slider there. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. Control C, select, and then Control C, then Control V, then Control V again. All right, so we now have three inputs that we can use now here. So I'm going to hover this one. I'm going to connect this to my X, Y, and Z. Alright, so as you can see, if I'm going to adjust the Z, so there's your point, it moves along Z axis. And then this one along uh, Y axis. And then the other one is X axis. Alright. So now the next thing that we're going to do instead of using this one, so let's try to create a sequence of points. Okay, so let's drop in a number sequence. So I'm going to close this one. So I'm going to key in sequence. Sequence. So I'm going to click this one. It creates a sequence of numbers. So let's click this one. There you go. So as you can see on my sequence here, so we have uh, three inputs. So we have the start, number or letter to start the sequence at. Again, the default is zero. And then the next is amount, amount of numbers in the sequence. Default is 10. And then the step, it is the spacing between numbers or uh, letters. All right. All right. So for this one, for the amount, so I'll just put it on the zero default value zero at the start now for the amount so so
So let us connect here a number slider. So let's connect a three input here. So probably let's just copy this one. Control C and then Control B. All right. So I'm going to use zero as the start of my sequence. Okay. And then for the amount, I'm going to change this to let's say ten. Okay, and then for the step, let me connect first the amount. And then for the step here, so I'll just put it uh, by one. There you go. I'm going to connect it here. So I now have here a sequence of uh, zero, ten as the amount, and then one as a step. So for this one, I'm going to disconnect the Z. For example, I want to connect this sequence to my z coordinate here so i'm going to disconnect this one and then i'm going to connect here let's connect there you go okay so i just created now a sequence of points so if i'm going to change here the number slider for the amount so let's say i'm going to slide this as you can see it changes Okay. You can also type here the, the value, let's say for example 20. There you go. Now for the start, you can change that as well. Okay. So what will happen is it will move, let's say you want to start at the 5 along Z axis, 5 points along Z axis. So you can type 5. There you go. Okay. So from here, 0, it will count five points above so that will be the start and then you can also change here the step okay so right now it's by one point so if you want to change that to by five enter okay so there you go okay so let me just make it one again and then let me change here the start again to zero and then you can also change this to let's say uh, 15 click outside there you go so basically, this is how you create your, your points. Okay, so now that we have learned how to construct points, so we are going to move on uh, creating curves, which we are about to see on our next video. So the topics that we are going to discuss for this one, for constructing and analyzing geometry, all right, the first one is creating points. Next topic that we're going to do on the next video, we're going to create curves and then vector and planes. We're going to construct surfaces and solids. We're going to modify this. And then we're going to export as well geometry as SAT file and STL file. And then after these topics, we are now going to move on to your much awaited Revit topic, uh, Dynamo for Revit. All right, so hopefully you learned something from this video in constructing points. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.